Hello and welcome to our news segment this week. It is my sincere hope that you are well. I am Anne Bomboy. The main event for the Day of the African Child was marked in Kuala County on 16th June and other schools joined although in different locations. The Nairobi event was graced by Nairobi County Commissioner Mawira Munganya. All participating students converged at Kangemi for a procession towards New Kihumbuini Primary School field after flagging down by Deputy County Commissioner to officially kick off the Day of the African Child National Event in Nairobi. <laughs> This day for the African child marked by other African countries like Zimbabwe and the continental commemoration in Malawi addressed how far they have come in protecting children and their rights and plans to ensure no child is left behind and this included child participation activities. This being a theme that no need for a child to be left behind for Africa's development is a concern because there are many challenges that we children are facing currently. In terms of education, we are the ones that are sidelined. As a result, because education is not given to us completely, we're ending up doing some immoral behaviors. For example, drinking, smoking, and other bad stuff. In attendance were children from various schools, children homes, and children-based organizations coming together to remember the children who fought for the right to be educated in their local language during the apartheid regime. Nairobi County Deputy Governor of the Children Assembly Joyce Maria Chana and Speaker Nairobi County Children Assembly Brooke Mwendwa addressed core issues facing children and voiced recommendations to the government and the community. Usually people go for a profession um, in some of the leaders of the government, creating awareness about the day of the African child. Then they come, as they call, a few speeches are made, then we are going to discuss the day of the African child means a lot to me. The day where we get to celebrate our heritage as the children of this Africa, this continent. Government and non-governmental organizations came together to ensure children felt comfortable to address issues affecting them so as to find solutions towards enabling them to have a childhood that has potential to grow independently. We are saying that the government of Kenya is trying to make sure that no child is left behind, even through the programs that the government is implementing. I have given an example of universal education, basic and high school education. It is now free. So no child can be left out simply because he or she can't afford. It has been better. The government has gone ahead trying to give um, health education. I mean, um, health, um, health expenses, to take care of health expenses. We got that opportunity to see kids even asking, why are these kind of people being given special treatment and these guys are not given that kind of treatment? Because we want equality and equality can only come by giving these children an opportunity to be involved and to ensure that they are voices are also factored in any other development that comes in. States, committee of experts and civil society organizations commit to leave no child behind as the world commemorated the day of the African child. From Total News, I am I. And meanwhile, the day of the African child has been celebrated on 16th of every year. June since 1991 when it was first initiated by the OAU Organization of African Unity. It honors those who participated in the Soweto uprising in 1976. Yes, that, uh, we're trying to be inclusive. Um, as you are aware that uh, um, at the global level we have the sustainable development goals and uh, within Africa we also have our own uh, goals uh, which we call the Agenda 2063. So we're saying as we move forward towards achieving um, development, we want to ensure that uh, even the issues that affect children 
are taken into consideration and we have um, children in different circumstances like children living uh, on the street. We also have children with uh, disabilities, children who are orphaned. All these uh, children face different uh, challenges. So um, the plan is to ensure that the different concerns or challenges faced by these children are taken into the development agenda. What we are thinking is that so many policies and programs could be adjusted because as you are aware that Malawi is also in line towards the, uh, the 2040 agenda for children. I the number of opportunities around and uh, this led to, to children taking it to the street to protest and demand for their rights. And then after this happened, the AU took that initiative to say, I mean, took that initiative to put things into perspective by giving a, a, a demand to state parties, whereby you are told you have to do something for a child that is in your country so that they are equally treated and everyone abides with uh, what is stated in the UNHCRC. And then after that, the African Union decided to settle down on the 16th of June to be a day for an African child to be celebrated, to enjoy like all the rights they've been denied, uh, to express themselves. This year, this year's theme was based on leave no child behind, meaning that um, we never wanted any child to be left out of anything, be it disabled children, be it the street connected children, be it the vulnerable children, they're given that opportunity to be had. And uh, I think from what we had here, it was very clear that, <clears throat> uh, it was very clear from the, the child participation approach it was, 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 um, was, was brought forward. I mean, we, we got that opportunity to see kids even asking, why are these kind of people being given special treatment and these guys are not given that kind of treatment? Because we want equality and equality can only come by giving these children an opportunity to be involved and to ensure that their voices are also factored in any other development that comes in. For example, what is the why it is to ensure that uh, and lastly, the last week, four East African countries read their national budget for financial year 2018-2019. The budget highlights focus on improved education and universal health care in Africa's sub-regional section. In Kenya, the government has allocated $7.9 billion to orphans and vulnerable children, $0.2 billion to street families, and $1.2 billion to child welfare society. Uh, the tax um, for sanitary towels was omitted in Tanzania to ensure that more girls have access to the important hygiene materials. Rwanda's focus is in building more public schools and Uganda will focus on improving food security. A member of Kenya's budget committee in the parliament spoke about child-friendly budgeting while the other member of social and labor committee said they tried to make Kenya's budget as friendly as possible. Uh, definitely a child uh, is, is part of the bigger bigger bracket of the population that we have in the, in the country and uh, uh, the portfolio, the child portfolio really cuts across in terms of many aspects of the budget. So when you're talking about school, like now the biggest recipient of the budget uh, this year, I believe, is education, uh, taking over 200 billion Kenya shillings. Uh, and then we are that specific uh, uh, item or program, there are issues to do with the early child education, there are issues to do with primary education, there are issues to do with the child feeding programs and stuff like that. So these are the kind of things that are there in the budget uh, this time around. One may look at it in the sense that uh, it's an issue that goes and cuts across uh, most of the departments, most of our ministries. If you look at the Ministry of Education, you will definitely uh, find issues to do with children, issues about their education, issues about um, uh, you know uh, uh, the, the feeding programs that we put our schools, and so many other issues attached to children. You go to issues health, it cuts across our children, issues of prevention, issues of curative, 
you know, so it cuts across. But I think it is also important that this, that's what we are discussing here today on how we can be specific following even issues of food security. Issues of children will definitely be there when we look at issues of nutrition and um, ensuring that we have healthy children. So it cuts across, but I think it's important that we start thinking really whether our budgets are, are children responsive. You know, we focus a lot on the issues of gender responsive budgets, but I think it's a, it's a good thing to really then become more keen on ensuring that yes, as much as they cut across, are we really looking at issues of children, you know, issues of judiciary? Are we taking care of our children? How safe are they even when they are in there? I think it's like that. So I think the conversation well, for more of this and other stories, visit and follow our social media pages at Mtoto News. This is all we had prepared for you. Stay safe. I am Anne Wamboi.